Hi, my name is Dr. Luke Perry. I'm an anaesthetics doctor at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and a senior research fellow at the Department of Critical Care of the University of Melbourne. Every year, over 2 million people undergo major open heart surgery and one in four will experience a post-operative complication. Now, imagine you're one of these patients who's about to undergo open heart surgery. And at your pre-admission clinic appointment, I tell you that as part of routine care, we'll be using a monitoring device called a pulmonary artery catheter. This device will be inserted by your anaesthetics doctor into a vein in your neck and floated into your heart, where it will finally sit in one of the major blood vessels in the lung called the pulmonary artery. They're sophisticated little devices which can tell us how many litres of blood the heart pumps a minute and how much pressure the right side of your heart needs to pump against. You might say after hearing all that, I'm going to have to trust you on that one, Doc. But what if I then told you that pulmonary artery catheters had never been rigorously evaluated or proven safe and effective for use in cardiac surgery by a high quality clinical trial and that there is ongoing disagreement among some experts about their role in modern practice? You may have some reasonable follow-up questions, such as, do I really need one? Is it safe? And are there any simpler alternatives? Here in the intensive care unit, pulmonary artery catheters have the ability to provide us with potentially life-saving information that can help us make precise, targeted treatment decisions in the critical hours after your surgery. However, preliminary studies have suggested they may also overcomplicate care for patients undergoing low-risk heart surgery. These devices may lead you to need intensive care for up to 35% longer by triggering some unnecessary interventions. Without a high-quality clinical trial, we remain uncertain about the balance of benefits and risks related to pulmonary artery catheters. With the support of a Vanguard grant from the Heart Foundation, our multidisciplinary team of cardiac surgeons, anaesthetists, and intensive care specialists based at the Royal Melbourne Hospital and the Department of Critical Care of the University of Melbourne will conduct the PUMA pilot. The PUMA pilot is a vanguard study which will lay the foundations of a quality, international and definitive randomised controlled trial so we can make sure we're giving you the absolute best treatment and answer your previous questions. Do I really need one? Is it safe? And are there any simpler alternatives? On behalf of our team, we are deeply moved by the generosity of the supporters of the Heart Foundation, whose incredible donations will enable us to pioneer a world-first clinical trial aiming to simplify care and improve patient outcomes after open heart surgery. Thank you.